Hello YouTube, it's a Sunday and I don't work too much on Sunday. Maybe come out here to the shop and do something like this. You know, I, I don't have to work on this. It just, it's too good to throw away. See that? We're going to have to try to heat it like up in here. We'll put a vice grips on there. We'll get the heat on it. We'll twist it. And then it doesn't go together all the way. So it's going to have to be straight in this way. That's going to be the scary part. Getting it that hot to bend that. And we'll look at the name. I'll take a picture of it though. B and Z Company. Is that Bridgeport, Connecticut? B... PT. Not too long a video. We'll be back. We're going to use our map gas torch because we want to heat it up quick. We could use propane, but we just want to get it over with. We'll have a vice grips on here. Going around here like this to tweak it. Then we'll let it cool down before we attempt to straighten it that way. So we'll, we'll get it this way first, then we'll be back. Okay, it's still smoking hot. A lot of spoken grease has come over the vice grips got warm. And a little on the threads. And that's pretty straight for right now. Ignore the little end swivel thing. Look at the bolt. That's straight enough for now. Now we're going to have to close it in because it does not touch. I mean, it's a little warm with this glove on. I have my leather one on over top it, then I take them off. You know, don't we work around fire with these on. I put my leather ones on over top, and they're filthy. Now we have to go the other way. If we had to screw, I'd be a lot easier, huh? So I can figure out how I can clamp on that and do a good job of bending the, bending the top right part in. We'll figure it out. We'll be back. Okay, it is what it is. The threads are so wore that... I mean, see that? But what I did was, I had the threads run all the way down. And I squeezed it in the vise. Head between the vise jaws with the jaws against here and here. Let me put it all the way down here. So I had it in the vice jaws, like here, squeezing it. And what I did is I heated it. Well, I had it like this where I could see it. I heated it, and this bolt was flexing a little. But I heated it, cranked down on the vise, and kind of backed off the vise. I had a vice grip hanging underneath here. In case it went to fall, maybe I could grab it. But you don't have three hands. You only got two hands. One for the torch, one for the crank out the big vise. But it's good enough. I mean... When you, you put it on the side of the table work, I'm only going to use it on small stuff. I want it so if I want to clamp a little metal plate or something down on the side of my table. I have those cheapy ones, but I just kept this for who knows how long. I didn't have the heart to throw it away. It's not going to get paint. We're just going to brush it up good. So stay tuned if you want to see that part, and we'll be right back with that. Okay, that's just with the wire brush and the drill mounted in the vise. I did take my abrasive wheel to this because I took the hammer and straightened it a little. So I took some of the lines out of it, then I went and wire brushed it again. But it turned pretty good. This has some kind of plating on it. Because you could see before where it was trying to be shiny under the, the dark, scummy looking, and the, it had just a small amount of rust on it. There you go. We had some before pictures. We'll take a few after pictures. Thanks for watching.